Alrighty, everyone. Are you ready for another exciting episode of Rut Grind? Oh! No! Rip headphone yeah. users. Sorry about that one. Tell me oh, more about that speaker. I want to know. Oh, well, you see, I was uh, trying to role play as if I was falling into a pit of molten slag. I, oh, what, yeah, I really got that. What I, uh, oh. I was, I was like, the, I always wonder if there's ever going to be a review of like, like a podcast thing or anything else like that. Because sometimes like, like, like there's like on the Apple podcast reviews or like some of the Spotify things or whatever. And, um, and like one of the comments, like, yeah, they keep killing my eardrums every intro. I can't watch the show. <laughs> they blew out my fucking speakers. If, yeah. if you weren't a coward, Azorin the Bear, you would edit and post a compilation of every rot grind and Warham scream ever. I would love oh to. God. It's like it's like one of those it's like one of those videos about TF2 where it's every character uh, saying their domination lines at the same time. <laughs> I, I I think that our editor would legally be allowed to kill us if we said, "Hey, can you just go back in every every single uh, audio file and just get only the times when we're screaming?" Thank you. It's like, Thank you, bestie. That's so thoughtful. Easy. Please make scream <laughs> compilation now. It's like I would have to tell him to go back to every episode. I'm like, hey man, uh, I know you're only doing the short form <laughs> stuff right now, and I don't have time. So how about <laughs> you, you, so kill your eardrums real fast? If you all of us go, hey, oh, I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, you I, have I, to do it to, wearing headphones, max volume. What's that video of the guy just like easy. inhaling? We go up to easy like that picture of help. Skywalker next to Yoda saying, "Master Yoda, die." <laughs> Easy. Does that video of the one guy who's just constantly inhaling? Like, <laughs> oh, send, send, help, send help. I need to find yeah. it. Send help. <laughs> like, just, I just want that for us. I just want it like, get like Ted Hauser every time he says revolution. Just like revolution, 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 <laughs> revolution. But then we find Pearl a Pearl says Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, hi everyone, welcome to another amazing episode of Rock Rhine. I am your host today, Zorn the Bear, and I want to bring together all the amazing folks that bring you our awesome show, Rock Rhine, starting off with Oda Roshi. Hello, it's me. I'm Odo. Today I am playing Vina, the Sylph Swashbuckler. Uh, I am not presently in your walls because I am moving. I am moving to a new set of walls. My whole body is sore. Can I please get an F in the chat? No. We will no longer be neighbors. Very sad. The, well, just, 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 you know, just kick the people next door out. I will. Keep it empty. Hold a seat. <laughs> in honor and homage. Of course, next up, we have the ever-amazing Hulky Crow. That is me. I am Hulky Crow. Today, I will be playing the Kenrasu cleric, Rahua, as I often do. Uh, and I'm, so, I'm very happy to say I found a slightly different colored grub in a very funny app today, and it's very good. Nice. Eating grubs over there? No, I'm catching them. Oh. Yeah, he's going to Grub Hub. Be out here straight grubbing. Grub Hub gives you deals on the grab you hate. I choke you, Aaron Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Just remember, Grub Hub gives you deals on the food you hate. I hate you. <laughs> You'll get a deal on him then. And we, Aaron Dill, welcome to the show. How's it going? I am doing well. I am going to be playing, as always, as Baldrick Weathers, the alchemist, human, human alchemist. Human? Very powerful combination because he human. The pumpkin spice of ancestry. Of course, next up, we <laughs> have the ever revolutionary Speaker D. It's me, Speaker D. Ho ho he, ha ha he. Um, I play Tannhauser. He is the android. He is the, the Magus. He is uh, the the scary man. And I have, I actually, I have, I have some very bad news for everyone. It's very bad news for everyone. I have started playing Match the Gathering online. Boo this gets, man! It gets Boo worse. This Boo this man! man. Boo no! Boo this Boo man! Oh, it gets worse. It's, it gets worse. I play, I play mono blue control. Boo! 
I don't even understand magic, but I'm disgusted. Boom. Boom. Tomatoes in the oh, chat. Misery. Tomatoes in the chat for speaker. Boom. Nice, nice, man. Man. <laughs> I'm flat and I'm ranked right now. You can throw you like tomato shot. emojis in chat and throw it at this fool. <laughs> Only if I don't counter them first. <laughs> Seal this boo-boo bear within the earth. Counter my 300, 300, one, one tokens, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, send him to know? the booty clapping factory now. We're playing Yu Gi Oh now? You've just unlocked my sliver deck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You've unlocked my ability to, to kill. kill. Yeah. I'm just those, playing standard. Are those still <laughs> overpowered as hell, or have they ever just been toned down? I think they're still. I, I don't even know because uh, they're not in the current uh, format. I only play, I just play online right now. Um, Unfortunately, I, I, I've never stuck to it. Now, now I'm now I'm enjoying it. I've never done it before, or to the point where I've liked it. I've done it to the point where I've wanted to leave the country, and now I like it. So, oh no, there you go. Of course. Sorry, yeah. the message. I get why Odo left now. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can't live near a magic gathering. Player. I know. I know. But of course, the one who hopefully doesn't play magics or does gatherings is our illustrious game master. Mr. Thurston Hillman. Hi, but no, I I don't. I just spent a shit ton of money today on Big Pig. Anyways, um, Big Pig. you want Big me to show you Big Pig? Do you Big have Pig. a picture of Big Pig? I have a picture. It's, of Big on my, Pig. it's on my Twitter. It's on my Twitter. You can see the stack yeah. of my big of Big Pig. Yeah, go yeah. to Twitter. Go to go to. Oh, it's not or X or whatever at on call. Just say go Twitter. See Big Pig. Uh, yeah, Twitter. <laughs> don't don't, give, my, don't give him any. You can see my pile of Big Pig. Yeah, Big Pig. Um, <laughs> Also, also a very important announcement. Hey, everyone. Did you know we have a podcast? Because we have a podcast. And we just want to remind you that we have a podcast. I like how a lot Many of comments. people don't know. Yeah, a lot of people in the comments like, they have a podcast? And it's always, it's always <laughs> awkward because it's like, there's a Twitch side, which all the lovely Twitch people who come over and watch us live really do help out. And it helps afford the show. And then it goes to YouTube. And then like ads will play and stuff like that. And it really helps afford a lot of things. Then it goes to podcast, and then it's just it's a graveyard in that way. But we have the podcast there literally just for convenience of people. And yes, I am aware that the Google Podcast version for Rockers is messed up because Google messed that up, not me. And um, but yeah, we do have a podcast. So if you ever need to be convinced, YouTube also on like the YouTube Music app or whatever also allows you to like kind of stream the stuff as a uh, as a podcast. They have like podcast playlists now, so I think that makes it easier on folks. But we do. Uh, if you look at the description of mo all the YouTube videos or on our website, it should have a link to the uh, all the sites and stuff of like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that other stuff or where we multi-host it to. Uh, you'll find all the podcast stuff there. So if you need that convenience, because surprisingly, no one reads the video descriptions. So that's where it is now. So if everyone ever needs to know where's the podcast, it's right there. Of course, next up, let me see. Da, 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 da. And also, remember, for those on Twitch kind of listening to us on Twitch Live and everything, a thing we've been doing uh, slowly but surely is that if chat donates, um, I think it was like 400 bits or so, somewhere around there, um, or they have four, like 400 bits or at least as a sub or something like that and includes a question, I think we're doing the bits things as well. Um, and during our beer back segment, we do like a little Q and A section. You can ask the uh, cast, uh, cast or the characters and stuff, various questions, kind of learn about the stuff, figure how the shows ran, all that other stuff. We try not to do superlatives, which is like, what's everyone's favorite T-shirt color? You know, like we try to avoid those. But um, if you guys want to help out with that, that's another way you can interact with us. And people on Patreon get it, and people on Twitch get it. But on YouTube, we usually cut out the beer B segment. But with that, everyone, and Thurston. What adventure do you have for us today? All right. Last time we left off. Our group bullied a bunch of people, and now we are on a balcony with the gnome they've bullied. I love bullying and, uh, gnomes. I, I want to start us off right where we kind of left off. Um, you had finished uh, an attempt at uh, intimidating one sandal Declan, who uh, basically got ushered off by a group of uh, 
you know, Quan Shiri uh, assassins slash bodyguards uh, who quickly ushered him to safety, uh, leaving you alone with the the Naum Ponkel Comp, who uh, has been making several uh, comments about, you know, being in the, the solitude and having discovered, you know, a possible curative uh, to, to the rot. Uh, this audacious gnome has now been sort of left to your tender ministrations uh, as Sandal Declan has departed the party that you've all been at as you've attempted to gather information and sort of learn his involvement in some of the ongoing events within the city. Um, he has since been ushered out along with many of the, the guests who seem to have departed in a, in a short flow, though you only caught a bit of it before Infilium Vadir like sealed the doors, leaving you alone with Ponkelkamp on the balcony that sort of overlooks this section of outset. So I'm going to pass it over to our destined band of Chuckle Fox to tell me what they want to do. Uh, die. Okay. Uh, I, I pick up the gnome and I just like by the ankles and I start shaking him until uh, until all his lunch money falls out. I like the, okay. the actual like bona fide shakedown. I'm very I'm very keen on that. I take his shoes. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, that's a little uh, weird, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's get some athletics checks here. Okay, all right, I'll take his shoes. Okay, give me an athletics check. What okay, kind of cool. shoes is he wearing? I rolled a 19 for 30. Oh, you okay. get those shoes. Okay, you get, get the those shoes. shoes. So, so while get... they're doing this funny inanity, can I go mm -hmm. back to the party to see if I can find anything else out? Uh, Yeah, you can like head back through, through the door there, absolutely. Yeah, um, I think... Tanny and I can stay back because uh, I have a decent intimidation if you need help with it, but I believe yours is higher than mine. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I let me uh, let me check here. Um, so seeing you, Baldrick, as you come back, uh, you can see that, yeah, like the large majority of people seem to have uh, departed here. Uh, looks like whatever whatever ruckus occurred caused people to sort of just begin leaving. I did uh, maneuver some tokens. I'm just going to uh, very quickly fix this. Oh, up. God, I see that. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it like rescales. Um, Sorry, uh, here have have crazy dank. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, this giant cat boy will consume us all. Um, okay, no. so I don't no. know. Like the, most of the the staff have. <laughs> God damn it! Most of the staff have departed. There's just some of the some of the folks who are kind of tearing down. Right. Uh... Baldrick is basically just going to go around to each spot where everyone was, and he's going to quickly case it for anything that might have been left behind of note. Like yeah. maybe a card, or like a, a writing on a napkin, or just like anything to denote who was there, who was where, and what was kind of being discussed, if there was anything else left. Sure, give me a perception check. God damn it, you make me <laughs> roll for things now? I do. Well, why would, you, why would he do this? Works. I know. You have to play for the heart of the dice, Aaron Dill. I got a 17 on the die for a 28. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're able to, to piece together a few things. First of all, you're able to find a card left by uh, the illustrious uh, Morhel Palm, uh, who yeah. you would like spend time with at the bar, giving a bit more information there. Um, Beyond that, you're, you're you're able to to get a get a sense. It looks as though most people um, sort of congregated closer to like the the tables up here um, to sort of the north where you're at, like Ponkel Comps area, um, and then kind of did their their routine passes by by the couch uh, where Sandal was set up. Uh, there weren't many people here who were actually appreciating a lot of the art on display. Uh, you can see that a lot of like drinks have been left behind. It looks like people left in a in a pretty big hurry. It's Say. Mm, I can imagine. And in being in such a hurry, would they have left anything behind that could be collected and collated as mm, intelligence? In this situation, I'm just going to say, like, anything that could have been left behind. Like, literally, like, we could have had something that Ponkel Comp put together as, like, hey, here's my pitch I'm going to make at the next big thing. It's, it's, a, it's a machine for pigs. Uh, well, well, some kind of amnesia. Um, let me let me take a peek here, real quick, as I'm just going through our 
our list. Um, yeah, um, there there is something that you are able to find. It's actually over here um, by the the plant that's behind the the couch where um, where Sandal was sitting. Yeah, good. Is it vomit? No. <laughs> It's not vomit. Um, it appears to be some kind of, of blade. It's kind of like a, almost like a wavy blade, like a, a small, um, like you know, a Chris? like, yeah, like it, it has similarities to a Chris. Um, uh, do you have warfare lore? Uh, let me check. I don't think so, but I could be your, oh, no, I do have warfare lore. Yeah, give me a give me a check on that. I'm gonna throw it out there. That's a 14 and a 14 for a 28. 28. Uh, that's enough for you to identify it. It's a it's a Quan Shiri type blade. It looks like it might have been like a backup weapon that was left here. Um, it's like the the, the type of, of blade that this is is um like it's 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 like a you know 1d4 damage with like agile backstabbing and deadly and finesse so it's like a roguey type weapon but it, it was definitely left behind here uh the the cobalt blades are fairly popular um throughout nations in quan Shir, especially those that have like approximation to their two great walls well then i suppose that will be something i can probably look into later especially given i got the name of the individuals from I, did I roll the check on that and succeed, or was that something that was told to me when I was standing up there with little? The um, oh, me? gosh, I forget who made the check, but one of you did make the check to to recognize the like organization is the Gu Duel. Yeah, mine I think was a. I think Dan Howes identified it. Yeah, if yeah, I remember right, would... maybe. I yeah, that sounds so, right. Yeah, he made society checks, so he was the one who would get that, not me. Also, Ten Hauser's. I forgot. I, I remembered. I just looked up at Ten Hauser's last roll, which has the penalty of sickened one. So he's still probably sick as a dog. Yeah, I think I still am. I, why wouldn't I be? No, it's just very funny because you, you now you have to drunk role play. That'll be fun. Be drunk now. Drink. <laughs> oh, we did drunk role play last session though. No. The drunk Ten Hauser is kind of just slightly angrier Ten Hauser. I feel. Is that uh, possible? And that's that's the <laughs> thing, right? Because I guess if you were drunk, Tanos, you, you probably have to roleplay something other than being an angry drunk, because he's so angry all the time. Unless he was just an angrier drunk. What if, maybe maybe, what maybe, if you're, maybe to change it up, maybe he's a sad drunk. Yeah, I was going to say maybe like your personality changed, like the the anger is up front, but then but deep inside you're sad. And so what if it's like? What out. if he's like demo man? Like he's like a really like nice happy drunk. He turns normal. He just is like, hello, my name is Tanhauser. <laughs> oh, Hi. he's like, he's like six Pleasure pack. He's like six pack. <laughs> yeah, he's like, my name anyway. is Walter Hardwell White. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will continue searching in here for anything else I can find. You could resume with, with the uh, the shakedown because I'm there's not a whole lot I'm going to be interfacing with over here because the bartender talked to Meatball Man and the cat boy I didn't get to fucking talk to and I presume as a pianist he has nothing of value to say because pianists never have anything of value to say it's true he just Bold. plays the music smiles and nod and tells you I don't know like welcome to the salon every time you talk to him yeah, he's like he's like that NPC <laughs> just slowly doing the yeah. movement it's like music's playing but he's not even touching the keys he's not synced up right he turns yeah. to you and, he's like, and just mouth flaps and then turns back <laughs> not the five night Freddy <laughs> thank you for coming to the casino you should really go to the casino. Thank you for coming I'm a cat to the casino. But yes, uh, yeah, go go back to them, and I will I will continue my perusal in here unless anyone else wants to burst in. Okay. Uh, yeah, we cut back to outside with poor Ponko comped by the by the fountain, um, surrounded by people, uh, looking up ominously at all of you. Ha! Uh, hello. So, Ponko comes, we meet again. Yeah. I have questions for you, and you will answer them. I have a lot of questions, too. Um, Name one. I don't believe you. Uh, okay, uh, well, you... Uh... Shut up! I okay. Ask the questions here. Okay. Ali, you ask the questions here. 
Oh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite day of the week? Hey, hey speaker. No. <laughs> yeah. Can you do bad cop and I do good cop? Well, well let's really change it up. <laughs> I was gonna go. I made you some tea. No tea, slap. <laughs> if you two are doing good cop, bad cop, can I be the civil forfeiture cop? Can I just start taking his stuff? You're not. Uh, are we? Are we role playing here? Because how about you be interrogated, Mister Tree? Uh, he will punch Punko Comp in the ribs. Please oh give God. me an no. attack roll. <laughs> We didn't even get a fucking moment. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm still unsure if this is role play or if this is uh. Well, it was a good roll. If it's strength based, it's a plus three. I could have just been an yeah, arm yeah, strike. Yeah, what am you, I doing? You give, him, yeah. you give him a good hoof. You give him a good kind of recoils. <laughs> so, we hear you've been working in the solitude. We happen to have been in the solitude quite recently. And you say that you've worked closely with the Medics Guild, correct? Because we... Perception check. <laughs> oh, yes. Perception check. <laughs> Perception check to see if he shit his pants. Uh, 27? Okay. 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 Um... You notice that when you mention having been in the solitude, that, like perks his attention like suddenly he's now more like oh and is listening very intently to what you're saying so we've discovered a little bit of what the medics guild was doing out in the solitude we found some crates some boxes things that contained samples of the rot but more than that we saw the way the rot was being used on living subjects the fuck? <laughs> oh, th thank you, thank you. Is that Noel? <laughs> oh, oh sorry. You, Noel. Yeah, she's she's in a Shadowrun game in the other room. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I oh, thought she was like, left me up. The party. You should tell her, good roll. <laughs> so, that sounds like a standard Shadowrun, like, we're prepping for our, our like, big heist moment there. Yup, yup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think they, they pissed off the triads or something. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so, we want to know how much you know about what the Medics Guild has been doing out there. You seemed to indicate that you know a hell of a lot, and you are either lying or you know. So why don't you tell us? Uh, wow, well, of, 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 of course. I am very well versed and knowledgeable in a variety of of things, and um, I am. I'm Were you there for what all they of... did to the dragon? The the dragon? Are you aware of what happened? Um, um okay, okay. Um, um. Uh, 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 and there's like heavy breathing, and he's like kind of like grabbing at his collar. Well, and he's like looking at all of you, like like eyes. Well, as we all know, um. Dragons are a threat. Orin wants to. He continues looking at all cast, of you back and forth. He wants to task Tanglefoot on this okay. poor unfortunate soul. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can we just make a narrative or he's just binding him, basically? Yeah, sure, sure, awesome. sure, sure. Like, like Orin basically will, will cast Tanglefoot, just, just keeping him all this tangled up or so. Going, or like, go ahead, sir. I would like to hear more of your opinions. Uh, uh, ha, ha, well, I, um, okay, so dragons, dragons are a threat. Uh, it's common knowledge that they're they're coming over from Bahawa and they're going to enslave us all. So we have to stop them. Oh, Bullshit. wait, wait, wait. I remembered something that I figured out when I talked to this man. If it even is a man, and I'll knock off his hat. He his hat falls to the ground. <laughs> he's a um, no rule, take it. There's a second gnome in the hat. <laughs> uh, I'll just caressing his. Is he bald? 
He has like is he bald? He has that like central bald point, but like the hair goes up around it. Like there's like a landing strip on his head. Okay, great. I start oh. caressing his landing strip. That's, <laughs> that's no. a horrifying line. One of the vines also starts twirling a hair. This this beautiful gnome. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's an idiot. Well, let's wait a second here. That's awful rude. This man, he is. I, I grab his hat and I put it on. He is. Uh, I picked this up in talking with him. He is an idiot who doesn't know anything <laughs> about really, medicine. Really, or idiot. Or the products that he produces. He is a salesman. I was not quite an idiot. I mean, you know, I, I'm pretty. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, so, I no, don't. I, you, you. But yes, he doesn't know the specifics. He's he might know people who do though. Mm. Right. Do you sell for the medics guild? Is that what you do? Uh, well, I, uh, no, I'm a I'm a bona fide <laughs> card carrying member. <laughs> Can I see the card? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He pulls out documentation. Oh shit! On God, uh, is, you know, look at this. <laughs> For free? <laughs> Can For I real use my, my, see if it's real. my powers of society to uh, figure out if it's quantifiable or not? Yeah, the other option would be legal lore if any of you have it, uh, or like any merchant or guild lore would help. Nope. It may shock you to discover I don't have those, but I do have society. We go against the law, but we don't know the law. <laughs> uh, that is a 20. 13. These guy with like, legal lore is currently investigating. <laughs> yeah, they would like these these documents, like they look like documents. They sure have stamps and seals on them that look official. Like they're, you know, Ponko, like Jeff Ponko Comp is a member of the, the Medic Guild. His you name know? Jeff? He named yeah. Jeff? His name you know, is Jeff. Jeff. It Bob actually Bob. could completely like if these are fake, we could potentially waste literally the entire session trying to shake this guy down for shit that he doesn't know. Armel will take the pieces of paper, why leave him there it, and tangled. The, sorry, why is it the way speaker fucking said that was like a challenge? Like all right. This could be a complete down. red herring. Take, take the dirty <laughs> bubble <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Waste the entire episode. <laughs> <doing nothing. laughs> like, like, just like, this could not be the direction we need to go. Chad, are wait, you ready to wait. waste three hours watching five idiots gaslight themselves? I'm and on, a gnome. I'm, I'm on the first, second, no. third, or fourth time. Yeah, let's, uh, um, <laughs> or, or I'd like to take the papers. And yeah. he would like to come over to the door. Uh, he's still keeping him entangled. Uh, come to the door and go, Mr. Baldrick, uh, can you come? Can you come help us figure out what these words on papers mean? Can you not read? Harn looks down in shame. Also, you're not Baldrick. helping chat. Uh, the potential Baldrick pockets the knife inconspicuously and then. Uh, and then we'll come over to look at the documents that Oren has in his hands. Like, uh, apparently right, he says he's part of the here. Medics Guild and this is permits being, he's claiming he's a member and this makes it official. I don't know if you know anything about that or not. Outset Law Thurston? Yeah. Here we go. That's a 17 for a 31. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're able to analyze these documents very, very quickly. Uh, you're able to tell that these are, you know, notarized and official documentation that one Jeff Ponkelkamp is a uh, member of the Medic Guild. However, you also note from your your studious examination of it, of it that Jeff Ponkelkamp has only been a member of the Medic Guild in a proper capacity for about the past six to seven months. Um, before that, it appears as though um, he had the equivalent of a guild's uh, learner license that he just kept renewing. Um, though you also note that his papers have several like documented late payments during that period. Um, and so you like, this isn't like a stellar doctor. This is or, or, or medic member. This is someone who like 
kind of had the documents for a while, wasn't really doing anything, and then only recently, like, suddenly paid up full dues and, like, you know, renewed, as opposed to just having this, like, very basic level of membership in the guild. Does it? Oh, so he, it's not bunk. It's just like he is so very out of the loop. He's totally irrelevant. It's it's more that this person was like, I I paid for you know long distance college to get myself a degree um, that I've been using to squeak by up until about seven months ago, where suddenly he paid for the highest tier of medics guild ranking he could have, which you would know with you with your role that like having that kind of money is pretty difficult to come by, especially with the jump you're looking at here. What, what role would the paper say? Like, obviously, you remember, it's like, what, what speciality is he in? Um, so so he has an alchemical speciality. So he, he works with... Let me just backseat uh, off your role real quick. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. by all means. Uh, My bad. I don't want to say anything. Zorn the Bear. Uh, Zorn the, the Bear here. is now the new GM. He is out GM both myself yeah, and Erndale. No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm a, a shit GM. Fine, Keep you're, going. Fine, you're fine. You're fine. You're <laughs> fine. Fine. Fuck off. God damn it. I beat you. He's out of line. Let's Jeez. kill him. Jesus. Yeah. That's all right. the um, one, girls. That's the guy who co-opted my role for his own purposes. Kill him. Him. Um... But no, you, you would you would be able to to tell that like his his speciality and like focus of interest is in like alchemical creations, the creations of like, you know, unique and bespoke elixirs and tentacures, that sort of thing. Orin looks at Arendelle. What does it say? <laughs> Arendelle stares through the veil of time and space. Oh, sorry. Back. Looks at Baldrick. What does it say? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, Baldrick is just kind of muttering under his breath as he's checking the legalese, just kind of like, and to the Fury of Cosmo, and insofar as to. Yeah, these appear to be. Well, to put it bluntly, yeah, these appear to be documents that are, in fact, bona fide. This man is a part of the Medics Guild, for one. See, I told you! Problem is that for the purposes of our inspection, uh, he's only been a major member for the past seven or eight months. And even so... Let's see, you jumped... I was imagine five, as you're saying you this, and I'm hearing Tannhauser on his little keyboard, uh, keyboard. typewriter. <laughs> It's Sorry, all, I, I was I was clear to ignore it, Zoran, until you made more noise. I'm making a bit about it. <laughs> while I'm while I'm talking and trying to do role play, pushes you down a flight of stairs Dies. from the Tower of Babel. <laughs> Dies, loses my language. I really love that we all speak the same. You can be margin of bone Anyway, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, T my teeth are bared. Uh, regardless, he's. Baldrick just says, like, fucking, he finds it interesting that he's gotten, he's, like, jumped five grades or whatever the fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. He's going to basically point out the fact that there's, like, money involved, and it's clear that the money is clearly not something that he had prior to that point, but suddenly obviously came into it, because and otherwise he would have just bought it at that point, rather than waiting until seven months ago to do so. And with that timeline, that would put him, like, jumping to this higher grade in the Medic Guild. That would put him chronologically after kind of, like, the time frame where we saw the experiments had been taking place in the Solitude, correct? Um, it would be a bit before, like, the, 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 the bump up would have been a bit before that. The, oh, the line of, it would have been yeah. a bit before. The line of thinking is that, um... Like, this guy at least knows something about alchemical stuff and they needed people, and they just probably found this guy and be like, let's just, here's your payment for all your stuff. Let's raise you up. And because they were getting ready to do all those repairs. Because that, going out to the solitude it must take a lot of prep and time. So they were prepping him and getting that ready, possibly in a previous establishment. And so they moved out to the solitude, and that's where he came in. And now he's all pumped up about it, going, I was part of all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. But now that we're curious... He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Do we know for certain he was in the solitude? I think he was mentioning stuff about They're it. This, this is the thing I'm it's what he claims. About it. yeah. But now so we have to ask. Yeah. We don't, we don't know that for certain. I, I assume these revelations will be shared with the rest of us. 
Oh, yeah, he, Baldrick's been saying it out loud. I was trying to role play it a second ago. No, I get you, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we interrupted, <laughs> I interrupted you, my bad. It's fine, it's just, yeah, but yeah, he's been, Baldrick has been sharing that detail with you, what he's determining from reading the paper. Ah, so someone bought your membership. Who bought it for you, Punkle Compt? Uh, well, uh, I had, uh, well, a really good year. Uh, I was selling some uh, some poultices in the in the in the bishop's blaster. And... You're lying to me. Hey, hey Thurston. Uh, what? So, just from a financial perspective, what would I roll to determine if, like, yeah, I just had a really good sales year to buy my way into the medics guild at this tier? What would I roll for that? Would it be a society, or would that be uh... like a? Society merchant lore would probably be your. I don't like, got no merchant lore, but you can, society is my You can best. do society. Um, Vina, give me a, give me a, give me another perception check. That's yeah, a, that's I, a I do have, uh, I do have the feet lie to me. I can oh. use deception to weave traps to trip up anybody trying to deceive you. If you can engage in conversation with somebody trying to lie to you, use your deception DC if it's higher than your Ooh. perception DC to determine whether they succeeded. Okay, okay. Well, let me uh, let me see if I succeed at my horrific lie. Yeah, I will put my I will put my society check to the side because we have someone more trained doing it. The first time I get to use Squire this. Marrow. I've had it from level 1. <laughs> oh, we oh, no. It defaults me to Squire Marrow all the time, but Squire here. Squire Bibble. Here we are. Um uh yeah, so um you know what? You know what? There we go. Okay, wait. Let's do this. Okay, there we go. Uh, that that uh, that was was not uh, not great. And uh, yeah, you can tell that uh, this little shit's lying to you. Absolutely lying to you. All right, I'm going to lean down. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get to his level, and I'm going to say, Punkle Compt, you and I both know damn well that's not true. So you have two options here going forward. What you could do is keep lying to me. And you know, I'm very, very patient. But my friends here, not so much. And if you keep lying to me, and I keep realizing that you're lying to me, maybe I'll just let them take over negotiations. Or, you tell me exactly who your benefactor was and why they gave you all that money. Is the tree gonna eat me? Yes. Oh no. Yes, he will. I'm sorry at this point, Rua, you're committed to eating him. I mean, I've never seen what happens when a living thing goes in there. Orn's like waving his hands, like, just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, could certainly like... find out. Feed exactly. first, even. All right, you guys figure that out. I'm going back in here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Baldrick. Okay, bye, Baldrick. Thank you. you oh, wait, down. hold on, before you go. Rewinding time. Have you, have you got a poison or anything on your person? What? What about the one I gave you? What? Well, that that one uh, that one definitely ended up in the wrong Is drink. Uh, ripped to her and her birds. <laughs> You'll go ahead, my bad. Patrick fucking blinks. Uh... Just a little something something. What? G GM, can I whip together another Belladonna? What? Yeah, sure. All right, uh, do I roll for anything with this one? Can I just quick alchemy? No, nope, you just quick alchemy. All right, there goes another charge. There you go. All right, toss it here. I roll Mr. Punkle comes, do, do not worry. I, I don't think I can actually eat you, but I do want you to know if you're responsible for the rot getting worse, I would be happy to introduce you to the concept of each of your fundamental particles disintegrating from the feet up. Doesn't that sound fun? Doesn't that sound so fun? There you go, Bella Bonner. Uh, um, like I said, we can keep talking, or we can do whatever the hell Rahua just said. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, fine, give me an intimidate check. Yay! Uh, I only have a plus 14. Does anybody have higher? You did, that is higher. Uh, that's higher than yours? I thought yeah. yours was higher. No. It's higher than mine. I have a 13. That's I... higher than mine. 
<laughs> I can help. Yeah, your charisma will probably give you that extra. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a 25 from Vina. Um. Okay, it was all I got paid for, and I, I, I've just been saying stuff, and I don't know anything about alchemy, except if you mix the blue dye with the, the red dye, it makes purple, and purple's my favorite color! I'm so glad purple's your favorite color. Great choice. So you don't know anything about what's going on. Why, then, would you oh have my God. <laughs> Why then would you have such a high station in the medics guild? And why so recently? Uh, cause someone, someone paid for, for it. They said I just had to talk about curing the rod a lot. Who is someone? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is this, uh, is someone who, who, who pay? I, I don't know exactly who. They just, they just said I, I had to, I had to, to be, be good to Sandal Declan. And Sandal Declan's such an awful human being. But I had to be good to Sandal because then they'd keep paying, and then they said I would get more money, and then they promised me I might get a girlfriend. It is, it is at this point that Erndel would like to remind the party that now that we have that info, we can try to be diplomatic. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, you were given money by a mysterious benefactor. Did you speak to any representative specifically? My, Who represented know. this mysterious benefactor? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So there, there was, there was a letter, and then, uh, and then one night, uh, uh, a fairy came to my house, and uh, and the little fairy said I had to keep doing it, or, or they would take out my teeth one by one. A, a fairy was threatening to take your teeth out. It was a tooth do. fairy. It wasn't a fairy. Do I, can I roll uh, anything to try to understand if that is a common practice of fey folken? You can give me, you can give me a nature check. I have occultism, will that work? Nope, this would be nature because it's oh. fey related. Okay. Oh. Oh. stands there, cross-eyed, Well, I don't know anyone upon. else who could make this check, so. Yeah. All right, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's my plus one, you can get a 12. Uh, I assume I know everything there is to know about this. I love democracy. It's, uh, it's probably some kind of uh, fey that's made out of teeth. Makes sense to me. Yeah. That's what I think if I were a fey. say any of that out loud. No. <laughs> the, inner, the inner machinations of his mind are an enigma. Uh, but Orin is close enough to have heard, so Orin, if you want to make a nature... No. Thing, please. No. I no, was not okay. called. That's... <laughs> I was not brought into this conversation. Or I will stand sure. there. Wait, yes, you are. Yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> just, oh, this is a lovely <laughs> over here. Yeah. Look at that. It's uh, so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> or it starts sobbing. <laughs> His only skill he has master in. It's just, it's it's like a fucking art degree. It's nothing going to be. <laughs> well, uh, if you wanted to use your nature skill, you should have had a plus one. Then it wouldn't well, be funny. Alpha in the chat. <laughs> That's why I haven't been intimidating. It's also a plus one. <laughs> alpha is in the chat. It's actually very funny because he, uh, he said he was going to be here because he he had to skimp out on our BattleTech game today. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sag. He is just here to offer suggestions. Ah, uh, good. Alpha abuse of backseatgaming.gov. Enemy spawn. Ban him immediately. <laughs> Ban this guy. So anyway, I feel like it's no longer necessary for us to drown him like I was going to do. So... <laughs> necessary. Uh, the mandatory waterboarding episode. Well, we're right yeah. here by this fountain. I figured I might as well use the environment, you know? That's true. He is resourceful. Like, like, we have a fountain here. We have an outlook that we can hold him over and say, tell us what you know, before we, like, you know, like, you know, Hans Gruber him. We've uh, already intimidated him, though. We yeah, I know. Him. It's it's all done, and we didn't use we didn't use this wonderful fountain. We had to drown someone in this fountain by the end of the session. Cat boy. All right, don't cat boy, no, no, we don't have to drown the cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> the cat boy we haven't proven to be an adversary yet. Yet. 
So, at this point, it probably behooves us being nice to him. I don't yeah. have any skills that are good at that. I do. I got Oh, uh, well, Vina, be nice to someone? <laughs> Video oh. girl. Ding, ding. Yeah, no. I'm going to... <laughs> looping back to what we were talking about. So, your mysterious benefactor contacted you via a fairy that wanted to steal your teeth and said that you essentially had to gas up this cure for the rot. You had to sell this idea that the Medics Guild were creating a cure for the rot. And so this benefactor remained anonymous, but did inform you that you need to be kind to Sandal Declan. Am I following you? A little bit. It was a bit more uh, fucked up than that, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that fate did not want to just just take my teeth. All right. Uh, well, the what? What else did it want to take? Now oh, I'm no. curious. I got I got a little drunk one day and I told someone, a friend of mine, uh, we used to sell stuff in the in in the in the lower in the lower ponds together, and um, then I woke up with his head on my bed beside me, and it was missing all of its teeth, and then the little finger <laughs> held me down and uh, uh, used its little 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 metal things to use the tooth to carve into my skin don't tell and then he like shows his arm where it says like crudely carved in don't tell good god That's a cool uh, is, is, he, is he lying oh no he is I, I don't think he is. Not lying. well good god almighty I uh, you know we've met shitty Faye, so I guess this checks out I say looking up to the sky, watching for Sawsworth. The king's <laughs> over there. That's true. Uh, well, Orn. Go, go. Oh, no, do your thing. Orn will come up the pause and go. He'll, he'll get rid of the, the Tanglefoot stuff and kind of let all the vines and everything go away. Orn will like to come up the pause and go cough uh, and be like, uh, Mr. Ponsilkoff, here, just take a seat over here. And Orn will kind of motion over to the bench uh, that's by the table. And he'll kind of sit down with him if he allows himself to be sat. Okay, uh, sure. As I, Orin, Orin will look and uh, it was right by him. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, the one beside him. Right? Yeah, yeah, the closest <laughs> one. Yeah. It's awkward. Yeah. yeah. No, the anyway. one across the room. Okay. Yeah. Orin kind of, we're kind of uh, sit by him and stuff, and just kind of like start comforting him a little bit, going, "Mr. Ponsilkov, it seems that you're also a victim of the things that." We're kind of tracking down and dealing with, and he looks uh, to his friends to kind of like as confirmation for the path that he's going with this. Is like, um, we too want to try to find the people that are doing this, and I think we can work together. If you help us, we can potentially help you get out of this situation, so you won't be constantly threatened. Like, and he mentions to the carving on his skin, it's like, like this, and I can help with that if you want as well. Oh, how can you help with that? Yeah, he, Orin looks at Rahua. Rahua, can you go grab some dirt from one of the potted plants, please? Yeah, sure. Might as well. Thank Rahua. you, Rahua. Walk away. Can you grab yeah. dirt? Orin will turn back to Ponsilkov. It, it seems that there are... It's not as direct of people who are after folks. Now, the person or the person of the things that they've affected over in the solitude. Like, they hurt a really good friend of mine, and and in relation to that, they hurt a lot of my friends here, too. And I want to see if we can work with you, and if you want to work with us, to try to find who did this. I believe we all initially thought that you were one of the major players in this, but it seems to me that you're a victim. And I think we can work together and try to find exactly who's doing this to you and to our friends. Yeah, yeah, I am a victim. Yeah, I all I wanted was to be a little famous, and and I I tried so hard, and it was just it was just real, real brutal. I they think... did some awful things out in the solitude. Terrible I've never things. been. It's 
I think it's a beautiful place. The... Oh, good. That's what I've been telling people. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 very dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous for a lot of folks, but it has its own beauty. Uh, but here, let me let me help you. And I remember who is back with the uh, dirt. Ruhuit starts walking back, but turns back for some reason to the potted plant. Okay. Uh, but Orin's like, w are you okay with helping us? And maybe and well, so he's looking to his friends for confirmation. Like, and maybe we can help you too in proxy. Is that okay with you, Mr. Ponsokoff? And, and I apologize for our uh, for our demeanor here today. Uh, uh okay. Um, sure. Yeah, that's. I uh, I I like helping. Um, I've got a lot of skills. I could. <laughs> what kind of skills, Mr. Ponsokoff? Uh, uh, um, um. Well, um, um, you know. I'm good at talking to people. Yeah, this is basically like this. hyping things up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hype person. That's it, exactly that. So, say for example, if we wanted to make like a, like a movement or something, you know, or maybe try to like gather a lot of people for stuff, you, you'd be able to help, right? Uh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, I could. Of course, uh, just. T what what do you what, what what do you what do you need? Are we putting together a concert? So I, well, I'm not really the Something one to like say that. say or anything, but uh, but Oren looks at Mr. Tanhauser going, I, I I believe he would be very useful to things that you want to do, Mr. Tanhauser. I will approach Punkle Cup, but I'm not going to get there because then it looks like I'm like in his space. I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> but I am going to approach him and give him his hat back and say, Punk 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 Punk. You must forgive me, for I was under the impression that you were a serial murdering drug dealer that I was going to drown or throw off the building or something worse. But now I see that you are someone who has been hurt by the power structures at outset. I'm a victim. You are a victim. Yes, you are. Aaron pats him on the shoulder. <laughs> but what if you didn't have to be? What, what do you mean? I'm glad you have. <laughs> and he turns and looks at like Oren and then look. You're going to train me to be a warrior. No. What? Oh. Wait, Mr. Town. A vocal yeah. warrior. Winks. Ah, a warrior of words your greatest asset is the ability to convince others of things that are of nebulous truth and that has also been your greatest weakness for your lies are able to be seen through but what if you spoke of the truth why there'd be no end to your girlfriends you'll get I a lot of bitches mr ponsokov what the fuck? A lot. <laughs> Bitches love revolutionaries. It's exactly, true. yeah. And you just need to do this one easy, simple thing. Girl. Friends? Yeah. Girl. Yes. Friends, girl. Of the, friends of the girl variety. And you just need to do this one thing, Ponko Compt. I swear to God, if the name of this episode is Bitches Love Terrorists, <laughs> <laughs> we're done. I think no, we no, 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 not terrorists, <laughs> revolutionaries. You need a picture. Revolutionaries. Yeah, get demonetized if I put terrorists. We need a picture of Tannhauser as Che, okay? <laughs> oh now God. the thumbnail is going to be Ponsicott just surrounded by whammon. Oh, oh. Uh, no. good. good, excellent. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know, that, that that sounds really good. All you need to do, Punkle Compt, yeah. is to devote the rest of your life to the destruction of the outset government. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Baldrick um. screams from the other room. Tyrant's Guild. The Tyrant's Guild. Too. No, Person. just that. <laughs> Thurston, uh, can I make a roll to start rooting through the dirt? I need to find more bugs. 
Fucking, there it is. There's the right brackets. Like, why can't I pick a perception roll? That's for initiative. Can I roll initiative against the dirt? You can. <laughs> yeah, that's why right, the same roll. Oh, foundry because they're right by each other. Twenty nine messes people up oh, all the time. There is some like excellently fat worms in that there dirt. They've been having a great the life. Fire's worms. The fire worms. Hey, I want to point out Hulky Crow has added fucks as a permitted term in auto mod. Thanks, Hulky. I don't know why it wasn't allowed before. People use it pretty, pretty often in this chat. <laughs> what a nightmare. I have been, I have been a diligent janitor. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll, I'll reach Does this mean that your tree won't eat me now? Yes. De probably, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to reach into my pocket and I'm going to pull out some of my literature <laughs> and I'm going to What's head this? it Uh-huh. Think about this. Read it. Memorize it. Think what you can do or add to improve it. And then join us. And I promise you, we will find you in the revolutionary movement to come. A boyfriend free girl. Wait, Shut I, up! Shut up! No, I'm I'm reaching through my screen to store in out of you. Orin, I, I got yes. you some dirt and some worms. Are you are you done with insult comped? Oh, we just need to help heal his wound there. Um, and Orin will will take the piles of dirt. Oh, the, really good job, Mr. Ruhua. Like these are really fat grubs. These are worms. Worms. It looks like a. <laughs> And then he turns and he, just, and he spits in it and starts mixing it all together. <laughs> you know, see, see Ponkel Compt? This is what a real doctor looks like. Yeah, you see, Mr. Ponkel Compt, like, with this, it was like, I've been trained in the ways of dirt, and I can heal your uh, scar and everything there, the etching there for you, so get it off. It's like, so just hold still. And he kind of, like, just gets ready to do the healing plaster on and go, <laughs> you know, all the bugs and everything are still like, going, <laughs> I spent four years locked in mental combat to find those worms, and you just fucking ate them. I'm so sad about that. If I could cry, I would shed one tear because they are just worms. <laughs> just a little like, guy. Did, did, did you make friends with the worms, Mr. Rahua? No, I made enemies. Oh. Oh. Well, let them be destroyed in eternal battlefield of medicine, and then Warren will start. Uh, can I do? Can I do a medicine check? Uh, to heal Ponce. Well, I can do a surge on it to basically do a medicine check on his wound there. Yeah, sure. Or out here doing fucking worm magic, yeah. eating that shit Natural. to heal somebody. Call that internal medicine. Natural one fucking <laughs> kills Ponco Comp. Oh my god, please, please, please. I, I'll actually roll it. I won't actually do uh, assurance this time. So let's see what happens. Oh my Whoop. god. Almost oh. 15 oh. for a 30 total. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's a crit. Uh, uh, is this what I, I've been telling people I can actually do? Yeah, it's in. Yeah. You can help Damn. people more. Um, I know. Uh, well, Orin looks at Tannhauser and goes, well, we should probably exchange information where Possum Comp stays. So, for one, we don't want to bring him over to where we usually stay. And if well, he stays well, over not? there. Well, Miss Possum Comp, if, if you go where we are, then yeah. the people who are pursuing that we would lose a lead. And we need you to stay there and and hold there so we can communicate with you in a safer way. If you come where we are, then that might right. expose where we hang out. And that would be well, that would all of us. I think they already know that we, where we hang out. They send a fucking messenger there. Hold on a moment. Uh, what? Uh, Sand hold on. Uh, Sandal. Sandal knows that we're speaking to him. Sandal recommended we do it, and no doubt Sandal, or at the very least his darker betters, have some relationship with the Fae that have been assailing mm. Uncle Cobb. No, Uncle Cobb needs somewhere safer to stay. And he's That's right. They do. So, Uncle Cobb. Uh-huh. We should... I'm going to look at everybody. So are we, well, are we against putting Ponkel Compt into our house? <laughs> Baldrick's house is that is ours also, sort of. I think we should ask Mr. Baldrick when he's back investigating Ooh. the area. Would that not get a bunch of, uh, you know, assassins at our doorstep, given what we just learned about Sandal Declan and the fact that this guy specifically 
is a better made sure to point out that he needed to be nice to Sandal Declan, possibly the worst man in Outset? That's actually a good point. Punkle Compt, what do you know of Sandal Declan's dying progenitor? Ah, uh, old man Cademan? Yeah. The very same. I, not a lot. Um, he was really big in the medics guild for a while. Mm. What happened to him? Don't know. He just, I didn't really care. I I just kind of shit talked him a bit when I was putting on my performances. And said he was a hack. I don't even know what he specialized in. Wait, wait. You said he was a hack. W were you told to say he was a hack? Oh no! I just did it to make myself feel bigger. Sandal Better really enough. didn't care about his grandpa. He just said repeatedly he couldn't wait till he died. So his grandpa was the one bankrolling Sandal. What about his parents? Oh, they, oh, they, they, they died. I, I, some, some, some accident. I don't know exactly what happened. That's why, that's why, that's why Sandal's such a prick. Interesting. Grandpa was always too busy for him. Had to keep the, the house going. And now Sandal resents the old man. So, so he's just waiting for him to croak over in the manor. I think then it seems like we have our lead and i think it's time for the crew to make a house call at least soon before we do so we should ascertain the safety of our newest compatriot that's right my safety is very important um thurston mm -hmm. there was a large revolutionary movement uh and i do have our friends at the house Presumably yes. they know of other revolutionaries in the city. Would I know of any of their addresses that I could send Ponko Comp to reside in? Um, you know, give me, like, we haven't really talked about what you've been doing in your downtime with this. That is um, very true. So let's say, you know, you've been, uh, you've been, you've been setting some stuff up in your downtime here. Um, uh, let's see. I would say give me a society check, and we'll use that to represent the efficacy of some of your network set up here. You got it. I'll nanite surge, because this is important. I will reroll. Okay. With a hero point. He rolled a four, everyone. He's going to reroll now to do yeah, better. wasn't a bad. Oh, the 20 winked at me. Better. 24. Okay, um, so a 24 um, is enough. You, you, like, you certainly have places you, you could send him. Um, you're not sure exactly how secure they are, but like, ah, yeah, like Bill's part of the revolution and Bill has a spare couch that people can stay at. Yes, you know, probably like some way, <laughs> some, someone that they're probably not gonna look at Bill's house first and probably just keep him safe for a day or two. Yeah. Um, so I'll uh, scroll down an address. This is Comrade Bill's abode. He lives in a tenement building in the Ponds oh. Pelasta. On the Ponds, oh, okay. Um. He will crash in his accommodation and wait for further contact. He has a, has a, has a separate bathroom? Go there now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and can I can I make some kind of society check to try to convince him of the justness and righteousness of our cause? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. That's a twenty-two. Yeah, uh, with a nine for twenty-two, he's like, okay, this this yeah, this seems good. I'm gonna read these papers now. Okay. Good. Oh, okay, get Go, on bills. comrade Ponkle Tomped. Oh, Thanks for all your help. Goodbye, Insel uh, Comp. Wait, 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 before you go, wait, I have one more question. Ah, uh, 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 okay. I want to figure out where he lives in case he decides to not go there. Yeah, wait, come over here. Come, come over here. Come over here. Why? Oh, okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do they? Sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all good. What well, were you closing the door on me? Okay. Okay, number one. All right. Did you steal my cow drops earlier? Oh, yes. Why? 
I have a problem. What's your problem? I take things. Check his pockets. Can I have them back? Uh, oh yeah, sure. I I assume you also want some of these coins back. Yes, I want. Okay. Them back. <laughs> and I'll split halfsies with the rubies you stole. Oh, okay. And the copious um, amount of diamonds in your pockets. <laughs> and um, your teeth. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 does your friend want this smoke stick back? I want the smoke stick back. That oh, okay. Here you go. I don't, I don't fucking want the smoke stick. Just Did he just steal, steal my it. entire inventory? He just stole <laughs> a lot from you. <laughs> like during the session, he was definitely pilfering shit. <laughs> I gotta check. Do I have everything in my inventory now? Uh, it looks like you've shaken down the gnome. Yes. Okay. He looks good. down and uh, he just stole one of his arms. <laughs> Now, your thievery, this could be a powerful asset for the revolution. Oh, I thought I, was, I had a problem and I needed help. Oh, no, your problem is a solution. A solution no. to the problem of property. Now, oh. give me uh, half the jewels. Ah, okay. He, like, returns the coins that he pilfered from you. All right, great. All right, now go. Okay. Pause. Uh, Oh, yes, Rahua. Uh, this this is me asking: Is it safe to assume that Ponkelcom did not necessarily take whatever literature Tanhauser gave to him? Oh, he's got it. He's like he's got it. He's reading through. Uh, can I make a perception check to see? Because I, I, I'm operating under the assumption that Tanhauser was still inebriated when he gave Ponkelcom the literature. Uh, is that actually Tanhauser, the Little Red Book? Is, is it the one he intended to give to him? Probably one of my little pamphlets. Yeah, I assumed it was just like the stack of various pamphlets that he's had made. Yeah, I, like I have, the I have revolution in you by Tannhauser. Yeah, what can yeah. you do for the revolution by Tannhauser? Would you like to know revolution more? Exclamation point by Tannhauser. <laughs> Recommended reading list. Really? Like, yeah. You know. Ah, a comprehensive guide. Yeah. All right, just making sure. I had had a, had a sneaking suspicion. Oh. My many persuasive pamphlets. And with that, Ponko Compt has left the building. Well, that was a surprisingly effective lead. You see, Ruhua, and I put my hand on his shoulder, it pays to be nice to people sometimes. Uh, Does everyone just look at Tan out there? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go walk into a lake, everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting Tanhauser with a fucking Skylar White smug look. Like, you sure you're saying that to me, homeboy? And uh, I'm uh, completely uh, uh, unaware of anything uh, that would possibly be something. Uh, so, then, what is our next course of action? We should find this old man once we are done here, but there may be more for us to gather. Baldrick, for all we know, is likely knee deep in the lore and secrets of everyone in this misbegotten party. <laughs> Camera pans. <laughs> it's crickets. Yeah. Hey, 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 Thurston. Have I hey. been. Do I, need, do I make another perception roll to investigate this crap to try and find anything else of value that may have been. You, you can tell that you found everything of, of note. Like, you know, there's not a lot that people leave behind. Like, you get a sense of some drink preferences. The, the blade was kind of the, the biggest thing that you could tell was left behind in a hurry. Gotcha. So, the blade's the only important part from here. I would assume that I have not spent my entire time not doing anything. Can I check I out mean, the room to the south? Yeah, it's it's a large space, so like you could have checked that out, and then yeah, you can go to the to the room to the south where they still have some of the the various like artifacts and whatnot stored up. Okay, I'm going down there then. Okay. Now, knowing full well that there is likely something stupid happening, especially pertaining to the fact that the Calchops are apparently invisible, according to what Venus told us, uh, Baldrick is going to enter into the room. But he is not going to make steps. He is going to slide his feet across the floor. Sure. Um, as you do so, you can tell that the the floor is 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 like 
empty now. Um, you can see that there's like maybe one or two caltrops that have like fallen in the corner. Some of Tannhauser's like they were just sort of spilled or fell out here. Um, but generally speaking, they're the, the majority of them have been uh, accounted for at this point. Gotcha. So in this room, there was a statue, correct? That is, I'm assuming this thing to this out. Yeah, there's a plinth there. Yeah, bust. Do I know who this is a bust of? Propriety. Propriety. Huh? Oh, that society. Go! Uh, that's a 13 plus my 14 is 27. 27 is enough. Um, it, it has a... Um, it, it has a, like, a, a sort of... It has a marker on it. Like, it looks as though um, there's somewhere where a name would have been etched into, like, a metal plate, but that has since been very much defaced. Uh, you can make out, um, like, like, the term legate being used briefly, um, and then you can see that the, the statue itself is of a, a humanoid man um, who's, like, half of it's kind of been broken off. Um, you recognize, though, it has a very similar styling to what you found within the um, in the Perfectite Siege Tower in the Solitude, so it has, like, this this look of the heir of, um, of the prince, and in fact, this would likely be something that was made uh, for the prince's army uh, when he, you know, first assembled it and marched on out Set. Uh, knowing the general time frame, uh, may I make a lore warfare to see if I can piece together who it is, just from the look and assumption alone of the time frame? Yeah, sure. Okay. Boy, can I! Nineteen for a thirty-three. I'm rolling high. Yeah. So, um, this would be. Let me. Let me pull up something here. So, um. This would be the 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 bust of, of of a legate who would have been leading like a, a large detachment of, of troops, um, like like almost a full legion of troops in in that sense. Uh, likely was through the solitude, uh, and you could guess that there's probably like this this person would have been in command of thousands of, of infantry. This was possibly like the commander of the of the the commander who led their forces into into the, the Perfectite siege tower where they were assumedly overwhelmed by the awful perfectites within. You also then remember that, like, they were forced into that situation because of, you know, the the glowing eye people who were assailing them within the swamp. Uh, the rough timeline um, is, you know, somewhere in the area of... 30 years after the ascension of the first house, so, like, the first house ascended, 30 years later, like, the the prince made, like, his siege while he was still a mortal, so it would have been in that time frame, which, for reference, was, like, in the area of, like, 1,500 years ago. Interesting. So, like, no historical record on this man specifically, just happens to be one of the people who would have been commanding a sizable portion of the army that was laying siege to, uh, well, outset. Um, you know that the name of this, of, of this person and just like the, the leader of the Legion itself was, uh, Everistus Sentho. I'll just drop it in chat. Um, th and that like, he, he was a legate and as a legate, he commanded like a, a legion of troops. Um, right. his was known for being one of the ones that was first to march on outset, but that is about like the extent without going into like crazy, like research of in libraries about him. No, I'm not getting, he's not getting into that. He mostly just wanted to like kind of get a general assessment of like, oh, this is a pretty prominent historical figure, or this is a lesser known historical figure, which also increases the value of this object. Yeah. Um, this, this all seems to line up with probably more spoils that were within that siege tower. Speaking of spoils within the siege tower, uh, Baldrick mm -hmm. is going to check out 
the other containers nearby to see what exactly they spirited away when we did not pick it all up. Yeah, the boxes contain mostly like old antique weapons. So, you know, Gladius is um, like long, like rusted and decayed shields. Uh, the barrels contain a, a smattering of, of old uh, like coins, uh, some like ancient first house minted coins. Uh, there's certainly some value here. Uh, in that case, uh, mostly because, you know, uh, the overhead on running a, uh, a terrorist organization that has now been co-opted into a revolution, or the, the overhead is insane. Mm -hmm. So Baldrick Absolutely. is going to do what is referred to as uh, an investment, in that he is going to invest these coins into his pockets. Yeah, that, that seems fair. Kind of one of those next level play moments. Um, yeah. Sure. Just, I mean, he's not going to like count out a bunch. He's going to grab like several handfuls and just tuck them away. Logistics wins wars. Uh, it's true. I um, could take the whole barrel with me, but we might get in trouble for that. Not like we're already maybe. not in trouble, but you know. It's fine. Um, yeah, you're able to uh, to get a good chunk out of this. I will add it to the, the people's loot, but you're able to get um, about in the area of 300 gold worth of just extra, like, extra coins and funds out of this. Costs are high. Yes. Yes, they are. All right. And with that, that would probably mark up the, the time before, you know, you would see Ponkel Comps like heading out. You probably would just pass uh, just in, at the exact same moment that he's going down the stairs. Like the first rule of revolution is don't talk about the revolution until you need to talk about the revolution very loudly. Yeah, Baldrick Makes is, sense. is making his way <laughs> Um, and then you will, uh, yeah, you will, you will, you will approach your, your companions here. All right. Take it. You got something useful out of him? Incredibly so. We have a new asset in our crusade. Well, here's a suggestion for now. Why don't we discuss what assets we may or may not have gained from this when we are no longer in a location where I presume the Tyrant's Guild are coming? That is a very good idea, my friend. But before we go, I am a little bit mad that we're at a fancy party and I'm not the one who's drunk. So I'm gonna go rectify that, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna meander back inside. That makes uh, a lot of sense. <laughs> just real quick. Yep. So like everybody's gone in here, correct? Oh, yeah, everyone has departed. Well, real quick, while she's doing that, Baldrick's is going to keep an eye out to see if anyone's approaching from the ground. Seems like it's just been, like, the place has just been left. There are some, like, un menial undead, like, soldiery outside, but they aren't, like, you know, coming in or anything. They're more just, like, keep the riffraff out. Gotcha. Or All Joseph right. Vina going, I've never been drunk before. What's it like? I'm like, plat, 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 plat. He's just going with you. Oh, don't you worry, buddy. I'm going to walk up to the bar and I'm going to, excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to lean over and I'm going to grab two bottles by the neck and lift them and kind of stuff them into my dress. And then I'm going to look over at Oren like, hmm, you've never had any alcohol? As I, he kind of thinks on it. Probably not. All right. And I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab two more bottles of rum by the neck and then stuff it in Orin's uh, coat. Okay. We look at the, <laughs> the, the bartender. It's like, I look at Vina going like, we're not stealing, are we? I'm gonna take, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reach into my pouch and I'm going to take uh, like 20 gold out. Okay. I'm going to uh, smile very brightly at this woman. I'm going to gently hold her hand out and I'm going to slap the gold into it and I'm going to say, you have a good day, ma'am. Uh, she nods very, like, very vociferous nodding, yes. <laughs> well, we're not stealing anymore. Let's go. Uh, both of you give me fortitude saves. <laughs> oh, I was going to take this back to Baldrick's house where yeah, we're not free game. Oh, okay. I know. Fortitude saves. Yeah. What are the I bottles know. poisoned? Or I got a 14 for a total of 28. Cool. <laughs> I should have a bonus for alcoholism. 
Ah, uh, 17. Cool. We'll find out what that means in the future. But for now, let's uh, take a break. Did we get a Yay! disease? Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> a Drake's disease. All right, we'll be right back. I'm We're back. We're knowing the worst things possible. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Everybody remember to tune in on Twitch so you can hear um, the worst things you've ever heard during the yeah. break. Do you remember <laughs> the 23rd of, the, of September? <laughs> we I need bleach, not a drink. I need bleach. <laughs> so Thurston, now that we're back, how are you yeah. going to suffer now? Well, I think... We find ourselves back at the people's duplex. Yay! Another successful mission. <laughs> Way. I don't you fucking dare. <laughs> oh, anyway, fucker. the dragon is here, and we He's are my... very powerful, and there is also Ratigus. Ratigus. <laughs> oh, boy. Ratigus, Hello. big guy. Hello. How have things been while we've been away? What a miserable party. Yeah, don't I know it. I've never been to a party like that without at least like six or seven shots. Duhak is sitting at the table uh, along with uh, Marlene, uh, Crunch, and our our, our adorable, uh, you know, little, little rap of folk buddy. Um, um, are, are just sort of sitting around to set the scene for everybody. You may continue, Vina. <laughs> oh, that's all I had to contribute. I I, I, I'm I'm having my rum. We we found out some good information, and now after everything that I've been through personally today, I think I deserve both of these bottles to myself. Also, Oren, why aren't you taking shots? Somebody needs to be drunk with me. Is that, oh, okay. Oh, don't, oh, this is this is highly irregular. It uh, appears that Miss Vina may be dying. Uh, Oren <laughs> wants to take the bottle or one of the bottles and goes like, "Oh, okay. Uh, this is how you take a shot." I go, boop, and I want him to chug the entire bottle all oh. at once. <laughs> Please, please injure him for such a gross un misunderstanding of how liquor Please give works. me a fortitude save with a minus four. See, I, I was expecting the, uh, like that, that one, I, I don't know if y'all remember that one vine of the kid with the, the, the bottle of vodka. And he takes a, takes a drink trying to be hard and his face just instantly screws up. <laughs> okay, minus four you say. Yeah, minus Down four. Down the hatch. I'm gonna hero point that. <laughs> right. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, liver! Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get out of here, Gruntola. <laughs> that is a 19 for a 33. You Not down bad. that bottle. You down that bottle. It's fine. It holds. Excuse me, Soren. Did you just hero point that? Yes. yes. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> As he mutes angrily. <laughs> that was what we call a power mute. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he goes, go, go, go. Ah. He's like, this is really good, Vina. Oh, stone oh, face. Oh, like, oh, that's fine. I mean, I'm drinking worse things. I'm drinking some of the acids from a from a Kadabo bug. Oh my god. What? Orin? You're my new hero, I think. I just like a double bug. Oh, it's just Worry vicious. About that later. It's a vicious bug that basically has all these acid pouches inside of it. But if you cook it in a certain way, that it actually becomes a delectable treat. You know, kind of similar to the consistency of just like kind of like these bean things. It is very sweet and kind of like in a dark colored and stuff. And if you mix it up and everything, it's a it's really nice. They're hunted a lot, especially for the and the orange just goes on. I love treats. <laughs> so positively charming. They eat people. So that does not sound charming. We have a great deal to go over, I think. Namely, what we're going to be doing next. 
Right. Baldrick is going to uh, pull out the dagger that he sort of unceremoniously retrieved from the potted plant, and he's going to lay it on the table. So, oh. what we what? know so far about Mr. Declan is that he has enlisted the services of a rather, I don't know if exclusive is the right term, but he's enlisted the aid of a semi-exclusive well, bodyguarding service. He has no idea really about anything that he's doing, it seems. He's trying to build himself a pleasure blimp with which he can float around in the sky with. And what I'm kind of curious about is where all this money is coming from and why he is being so... I mean, I know why he's being open with it, because he's a moron, but where it's coming from specifically. We have reason to believe that it is his grandpappy. That seems to be what all signs are pointing to. Not all signs. Remember, he hates his grandfather. Hadman That's... was particularly wealthy, uh, Marlene sort of interjects. Or is, I suppose. He made quite a name for himself in the medics' guild. Exactly. It doesn't matter if Sandal personally likes the guy or not. The guy's clearly bankrolling him. Not as clearly as you think. It's worth investigating. I have reason to believe that there is indeed that connection. But we can't say for certain. Um, I'm going to take a look at the dagger. I happen to have warfare. Yeah, um, you can give me a lore warfare check. Did Baldrick show us all the dagger, or where does he keep yep, it? Yeah, he put it on the table. Oh, he said, my bad, my bad. Bad. I apologize. I got a 19. Oh, you're still sickened, by the way. I don't know if you want to... Oh, yeah, am, am I still drunk? No, that should be gone for you. Okay, so... 20. Um, that is enough for you to... It's basically the same that um, that Baldrick had as well. It's enough to tell that the, the, the blade is a type of blade that has, like, you know, notable uses in Quan Shir, um in nations that are adjacent to the Great Walls. Okay, so it's a Quan Shir dagger. Um, what all do I know about the Quan Shir? Uh, well, you know that it's like, it's it's a continent and not a nation, right? So okay. there's several like nations within there. Um, they have two two large Great Walls. One of them blocks off the path to Zeskorin. One of them lo blocks off the path to the north to Turlim. So kind of isolating them and acts as the continental borders. Um, they are known for being a land of deserts, but they are far more than deserts. There's jungle terrain, there's temperate terrain, there's just some large swaths of desert that encompass the land. Uh, beyond that, you would need to give me like society to get like more particular information on it. But oh, as we give you society, yeah, yeah, I am a, a fellow uh, Badlands dweller. That's another twenty. <laughs> like you know that it is. It is like Perdoma. It is a nation like it is various nations underneath a continent um this would be like the equivalent of like what's europe all about um but, <laughs> but you do know that um Quan Shir has at least in in one instance a sort of overriding um philosophy that has taken root there um so comparative to uh, one sec. Uh, comparative to like, you know, Perdoma, where the, the first house is kind of the uh, the overarching religion here. In, in Quan Shir, they have something they refer to as the balance, which is a um, like a devotion of philosophy that espouses like a unification of the perfection and the beneficence. So it's like they essentially worship good and law in like a an amalgamate form as a philosophy that they've put together. And that is very common um, throughout the entire continent is kind of the thing that unified a lot of the nations there to make their walls and keep themselves safe from the strange sciences and occultism of Zeskorin and the uh, roaming Mad Max warbands of Turlim. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, the uh, assassins, like, so we, I rolled a little bit of lore about them last session. Mm -hmm. Um, we understand, what are, would, would I, would my role cover up anything about, like, 
where assassins are thought to be from, where what like what kind of operations these guys might work in. You mentioned that they worship law and um, law and beneficence. Uh, that does tie in with the the stuff that we know about um, the potential cult of such things operating in outside. But does that tie like ring any bells for any particular assassin order? Um, like, I mean, you, you you got the name of, of like, the particular order, which was, like, hey, they, they are something called the Gyudul, um, which operate uh, within there. Um, but, like, all you know about them is they, like, they are assassins who cut out their own tongues and act in service to, to patrons. They are known for operating outside of Quan Shir in a lot of cases. They're almost like more outcast than they are traditional. Um, and, and so they can, they can be hired for a variety of purposes. It could be money, it could be philosophical, it could be, you know, that they had their leader had a vision to to follow a certain person. Um, there's there's no set reason that you you would know with what you okay. got. But they're um they're outsiders, but they still generally like follow the same general value set. Like they just are are do they um are they known to be uh, against the grain with their veneration of law, or are they meant to be? Are they known to be more chaotic? Oh no, they're they're definitely like within the the th within law is is generally how they operate. Unless this is a really weird fringe sect of them, but for the most part, if they're hired, they're 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 following a contract. Okay, I will I will share that with the rest of them, with the rest of our party. Mm -hmm. You all hear that? I guess I should say that as Tannhauser, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, not that I, don't, <laughs> and I don't think a lot of us had anything else to add. It's so like, like Orin goes like, nice, downs another bottle. <laughs> no, Whoa. stop doing that. I know it's really cool. Listen, I have a thought. The fact that our irritating companion, Sandal, saw fit to hire these assassins, assassins that venerate law and perfection not too dissimilar from the Martinet. And of yes. course, who was guest at that party but the Hegemon? You do make a good point. Vina, you spoke with the Hegemon. What I wish that, I didn't. What did that rapscallion have to say? Well, you kind of hit the nail on the head with the whole order thing. He thinks that we're agitating elements and that we're best... best off dealt with much the way he, you know, did the first time. Oh, it was a lot of, It was a lot of posturing, a lot of dick measuring. Mine's still bigger. Uh, that's great. Thank you, Tandy. Your support means everything to me. I know. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I really need a bro right now. <laughs> You're just getting like all of your just like clingy drunk. It's like, I, I just need someone to support me in these times. I, I just need my, my I business love you, man. Right <laughs> he doesn't really give anything away, the hegemon. That definitely seems to be by design, but I do definitely get the sense that if he is aligned with anything, it's definitely going to be order. And I think that he's going to be our biggest obstacle in inciting any kind of movement and outset. Did he seem as if he were there explicitly for us? No, I don't believe he was. I'm not sure he could have predicted us being there. I think he was just there because he's an important person. That's concerning. What do any of you make of these? Um, so 
Baldrick is still kind of weighing in his head where we're where we're going to actually be able to physically go from here. So he's just kind of thinking more about how. Well, it's it's clearly obvious that we need to go see Sandal's granddad and figure out what the hell's going to go on from there, even though he's dying and old and dying. And on top of that, now we have the concern that apparently the hegemon for being such an orderly fella doesn't seem to think too highly of us, which is good, but it is also concerning because it also means he probably is playing on a power level that we are not even approaching. So Baldrick's yeah. kind of just thinking all this internally, but he's gonna just continue on his train of thought, I guess. Well, regardless of whatever the hegemon is up to, and regardless of whatever we've learned from Sandal, I think it's pretty clear that our next goal is going to be... Uh, his grandfather, wherever he's going to be. Yes. Somebody mentioned he was at their manor. I imagine it wouldn't be too terribly difficult to figure out where they live. I know. Uh, wait, hold on. You. Yeah. I'm going to point at the, the, the rat folk. Would you know oh, where the Decker passing. family lives? Um, well, I... Uh, You're no... Really? You were no um, No? I don't... Mar Marlene, like, sheepishly raises her hand. I, oh, you know? I, yes, as, as a member of the Architects Guild, I I know some of the more notable establishments. Uh, Sacristy Manor is um, is, is certainly the, the, the location you'll, you'll want to go to. Oh, perfect, Marlene. You are so smart and pretty. You deserve the world. Thank you. My husband and two children provide that for me. I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm so glad. Anyway. <laughs> Such is life. Get all dry. There's no restriction in love. <laughs> You're such a drunk, Vina. <laughs> such a drunk. You're not you when you're sober. Brill. <laughs> So, Drinkles. So, to, to Hawkus is like, so are you almost done with, with the, the politics stuff yet? Why do you ask? Well, because I'm wondering when we when we get to go back to the interesting stuff about all of you. What? Oh, right. I, 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 oh, I, we, we can't die. Didn't you go into the solitude to find out what was going on there? Um... It was mostly to cure the rod, I'll be fully honest. Whatever is related to our condition is no doubt similarly related to the going-ons of Outset. They, after all, have a sort of parentage themselves. Patronage, I should say. I mean, that amalgamate that seems to be a true issue in the current goings on. Yeah, it, 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 it's some kind of elemental entity. I've been researching it, but I can't find a blasted thing. Only thing I can see is just speakers out in the out in the solitude sometimes had creatures like that. Oh. The primary thing to keep in mind is that I doubt the gods would have granted us all this leeway in addition to the power they've given us, you know, the power to not succumb to the rot and die. Leads me to believe that they have at any point the capability to tell us where we need to go and what we need to do. Which leads me to believe what we're doing right now is what they want us to do. Yeah, we haven't really gotten any direct divine edicts or anything, have we? <laughs> No, we, we haven't it. been waterboarded by anti-drown, so. At the, you say edicts, or you're like, oh, edicts. It's like, I have a potentially dumb idea. Uh, Mr. Rahua, you're still king of the saucers, right? Uh, yes, according to this funny essence, yes, I am still and the king of the saucers. The saucers yes. are all over the city of Valset, right? That is true. In theory, wait, they might have a separate king. I don't know how they work necessarily, but we did I kill like the where king. You're going with this. Regardless, that means and they could talk and, and they listen everywhere and everything else. That means 
we could see we could ask them to see if they know where the amalgamates went where everything is where people go all of that we have an entire saucer of spy network that's a great idea Oren. we should certainly test that we should Jeez. summon some of them and see if we can establish that and uh you know and see what we can learn from that and if there are any resources we have maybe and orange starts like putting like cups and stuff together and like where all the pilasters are and we can get some over this way and then see where people live over here and then once we kind of get information that way maybe we could start uh gathering all sorts of people and then getting all sorts of information and then we could probably get a better idea where we need to go i think what we might want to do is have them do actual just distant surveillance yeah they're not exactly quiet It's not like they know. It's not like anybody knows who is king of the sauce orders. Yes, but they are also sapient, and if you ask them and interrogate them, they may rat on him. Very true. They, as far as I'm aware, Rahua, you're not terribly popular with them, despite being the new king of the damn saw-holding birds. Rahua has already left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Rahua walks out onto the mean streets of Outset. Rohua holds his hands up in the air, invokes the power of the essence of royalty. Cool. Fuck Typical yeah. Rohua abandoning the RP moment. Goes <laughs> 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 in, uh, borne aloft by uh, several uh, several saucers, which uh, which hoist him above. <laughs> Several of Baldrick them in front, gets up out of his chair immediately. You remember that whole inconspicuous thing? It brought me back inside. Woot, Take it outside. Woot. This is our house now. Woot. Baldrick is shooing them. He's shooing them. Woot, He's woot, shooing woot, them. Woot, He's woot, shooing woot, them. Woot, woot, woot. <laughs> oh, hey, hold on. It's me. You're subject woot, woot, out woot, the door. Woot, 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 woot. Subject, sit down. Oh, okay, they all sit on this couch here. God damn it. <laughs> First thing I, I really need to know, was that like the oh, only king? Is that like a whole thing now? Oh no, hoot hoot. There's a lot more kings, hoot hoot. You're gonna have to fight for your crown for the rest of your life, hoot hoot. I didn't know we were playing fucking Kingmaker. <laughs> <laughs> Noted, we will have to kill the other ones too, but that's good to know. That's right, there can be only one, Hoot Hoot. There can be only one, we will make it only one. But hoot hoot. that's neither here nor there. <laughs> we really could use some help getting some additional information about the city. Uh, the, the goings on are all kind of topsy-turvy. It's as much as I like the chaos of it all, it's not ideal for our current mission. Do any of you know, or can you suss out where this amalgamate has gone? Hoot hoot, what the fuck's an amalgamate, hoot? Have you seen a giant trundling creature like a golem made out of, like, lightning and fire and water and air? It's really, it just kind of kills everything that's around it. Hoot hoot, sounds like my wife. Hoot 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 hoot, no, no, I haven't seen anything like that, hoot hoot. Do we have a picture of the amalgamate at all? Or do we have like a rough description? Can, can I draw uh, it? <laughs> yes, Baldrick yeah. is the, uh, wait, who, who went to art school here? Was it Baldrick? Baldrick went to college. He had to take an art class. Okay, close <laughs> enough. Wait, didn't Tannhauser also go to college? Uh, Tannhauser was educated at a college level, but did not go to college. I see. Okay. <laughs> Thurston, I've... can I, can I draw from memory what the amalgamate looks like? Yes, where are you? Where are you creating this drawing? He's going to he's going to like turn to the corner and be like, Dana, there's a pad of paper on the stove. Please grab it. Gotcha. On the stove? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to the yeah, stove. Yeah, it's on the part that's not on fire. Zorin. I'm gonna I'm gonna but grab you it. That did you? But you didn't. Um, I'm just, that, did you? Um, I'm you know, for a, for a, a, a learned person such as yourself, Baldrick, you really don't have many skills in home ec. Baldrick, Baldrick going give me to a ignore that check. comment and grab a piece <laughs> of, uh, he's going to grab a piece of charcoal and begin to draw this up. Crafting, you said? Yeah. 
Shit, I actually don't have any things that can actually help with this, so it's just down to my 18 crafting, plus that 15 to make it a 33. Hoot hoot, your lines are really straight. Hoot hoot, how do you do that? Hoot hoot, can you teach me how to do Hoot hoot, we'll be in a class. Hoot hoot, we'll all want we'll to learn how to pay exposure. Hoot 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 hoot. <laughs> hey, new money making scheme just dropped, Baldrick. You can teach art classes. Hoot hoot, we want to be drawers. Hoot hoot. Drawers. Uh, he's going to like <laughs> make a final stroke with the charcoal. And Thurston, could you please throw up the amalgamate uh, image if you don't mind? I, I can do this in in canon. This is uh, this is your uh... little. Did you know all the like drawn assets are just what Baldrick's drawing? Yes, new deep lore. It's part of the whole sponsorship curse. We don't actually know what anything looks like till we see the concept art. Yeah, that looks like a dump I took last night. Who do that looks like the dump I took on the couch right now? Who do 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 <laughs> all those sorcerers, they're the so elements. existing. They're always talking <laughs> about. We love them. <laughs> we, love we, love them. them. we love the sorcerers. There's nothing quite as good as the sorcerers. Oh, that's right. the audio. Every time that the the things need to do hoot all together, can we all just go? Hoot, 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 hoot. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, course, of course, of course. Okay. Of course, of course. Uh, Baldrick is, going, you too. You too, Baldrick is going to pass Rahua the piece of paper and say, Rahua, I know how this works. I'm not about to ask them a request. You ask them. That's okay. right. You don't get to ask us requests. Only the king. <laughs> 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 What a hoot, these guys. If I can, if I can turn it into like a, a lost track from Koyana Scotsy over here. <laughs> it's lost on me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Rahua will take the drawing from Balric and present it to the congregation. Okay, so basically it's this thing. It's really fucking big and it's really scary and don't get close to it because it'll just kill you. Also, don't touch it because it will also kill you. Okay, but like, we're trying to figure out where it goes and where it is. Several of them have their heads like cocked at like, you know, full like 90 degree angles looking at this. Like, why the fuck would we want to get close to that? I don't know why you would, but I'm just saying for your own well-being, don't do that. Okay, stay away from it. Gotcha. Stay away from it. But also see if you can figure out where the hell it is. We're trying to kind of figure that out right now. Also, if you know where the other kings are, please let me know. I would like to meet them and kill them very quickly. Yes, that's a good oh. idea. It's never a bad plan to kill a monarch. Just not to hear meet like, I don't know, get a get a meeting place like a like an airship parking lot or whatever, and you can fight them there. Yeah, let's go back to the Rock Grind Mutton King parking lot and just fucking yes, brawl. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because I wanted, I, I need you to understand, I wanted to say parking lot so badly. Yes, it's okay. But it would make no sense in the context of this. So there's I immediately. Cars. There should be a. That's true. Yeah. And there's, there's cars. I have established the he makes existence of automotives here. There, yes. there are automobiles, yeah. I guess. You know, I yeah. have heard of this bar in the Rook's Palaster that people often do get into fights at. Whether or not they pay for it in advance is neither here nor there, but we might be able to use that as a meeting ground to kill them. I can't or we just kill to. them wherever they are. <laughs> I can't wait for Tutel to listen to this and be like, okay, next art piece I have to do Mutton King parking lot map. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, 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 we got it. Yep, yep, yep. They, they start like shibbying out. Okay, I'm sorry about the couch. I like it kind of makes it sound like they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever, bird. Bye, loser. Don't give a fly. Get out of your couch. Bye. Hey, 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 uh, Hulky, real quick. Yeah. Baldrick immediately goes to the area directly next to the uh, the the well, well, the fireplace, I guess, and he retrieves a metal bucket with a stiff brush in it, and he gives that to you. Go on, King. It's not my responsibility. They're just my subjects. You can't hold me accountable for that. Oh, I sure as hell can. I think kings are meant to be responsible for their subjects, or so I've been told. You better do it. 
or you don't get to cook chicken again. Oh, but I like cooking chicken. Okay. Then clean the couch. <laughs> Rahul will take the brush and pan from the fireplace, go over to the couch, uh, look at it, and cast press digitation. <laughs> Can, yeah. can, can the visualization oh, of it, because it's your one eye, get caught? Oh, he's up. just going to laze the couch. It's just going yeah, to burn. Yeah, that's the thing where he just like, <laughs> like a bang, and it's You know, like clean. those like laser cleaners they use like in like industrial yes, settings to burn that. stuff off a of surface? It's that. I'm just like scanning the couch. <laughs> and I'm burning away the top layer. Wah. Wah. <laughs> I agree, Gorgamunger. This is very efficient. <laughs> Wah. Wah. <laughs> That's right. Okay, we, we need to have a middle ground. If we're gonna, if he's gonna wear, we need to at least let Zorin do it. It's okay. Sure. I'm, I'm okay with the bit. I'm okay with the bit. Don't worry. You can I know, but we need to at least let you do it because otherwise we're just going to speak for him and he is your boy. Every time he wears multiple times, I'm just imagining his head crooning up in different directions like, where, 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 where. Eventually, he just all of a sudden matures, and it goes, Wah, brr, <laughs> you know, and it just turns into that. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie ass fucking bastard. Hi, oh, I really like to rock ride where they just practically scoop shit off a couch and make wah noises. <laughs> Correct. Why do you think there are 200 people in the audience? <laughs> hey, Zora, do you want a bird feces? What were we doing? The show's canceled. I'm done. <laughs> we, had a good run, we were teaching Baldrick about proper safety in the kitchen. Listen, I cannot be cool about fire safety right now. We need to focus on what we were doing. Bro. <laughs> so, smoke. At this point, we've got the saucers looking out for the amalgamate. We've got a location on this manor. I think we should probably scout the place out, see what we're dealing with, see if we don't even have any of those crazy ass assassins standing on the walls and stuff. I think. And then we break in and pay oh, oh, that guy a visit. What, 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 can they teleport through walls? Should I have my hammer ready to fight the walls? No, but uh, they were uh, all invisible. Oh, oh. Patrick goes out, oh, goes back into the fucking room. Instead of engaging them and assuming we're going to get in a fight. Why don't we ask the Chamberlain to see if we can't get another exemption or an invite or something? Possibly. An audience. Uh, an audience would be ideal, but I don't know if they would let the kind of like blatant revolutionaries just walk into the house. We of got an let important... into a party literally today, Vina. That's true. <laughs> well, maybe you do that little point thing, like you bring your <laughs> hand you back and forward, like that's true. <laughs> that's true. Indeed. That's true, bestie. But at the same time, we did sort of make a mess of this party. Did we ever get anything about that sausage man? Oh yeah, one moment. He uh, re reaches into his coat pocket and retrieves the. Uh, the presumably slicey, slightly greasy meatball card that he retrieved from the uh, the table for Morel Pam. Oh no, the, the 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 card itself is actually quite pristine, and it's like Morel Pam, your one stop man. shop for meat. Um, and then it like has like an address uh, in the Princess Pilaster for him. Reckon we could reach out to him. He might have something we could actually use here. I'm going to look at my uh, at the rest of our uh, glorious compeers, and I'm gonna. That's <laughs> right. Wine, like <laughs> wine. It's Roshi, huh? Roshi disapproves of meeting the meatball man. I'm just gonna <laughs> ask uh, if anyone uh, that wasn't at the party knows anything about him. Oh uh, well, uh, I don't. Ah. He's the, uh, Mundu Hawkins sort of steps up. He's the, uh, head of the, head of the Farmer's Guild. He's a right bastard from everything I've heard. He's brutal. Mm, Took geez. over in a series of well-executed coups. They say his enemies ended up becoming the sausages he sold to others. 
And Marlene's just like, oh, that's just rumors. Hanging, hanging neatly from one of Baldrick's rafters next to a bunch of garlic are the very familiar chestnut sized sausages that they sell. Oh, yeah. And like there's clearly <laughs> like a little like wrapper with like more hell palm giving a thumbs up on it. Each of them has a little like branding on it. It's been mm-hmm. branded by a literal brand and it's got his face. One's mystery meat. They're all mystery meat. Da-da. <laughs> they're all or they're made of organ meats. Chef's special says chef's special er and chef's special est. Real chef special sauce. So then, this man is incredibly powerful and ruthless. Could he potentially have been Sandal's financier? Based on what I talked with him about, highly unlikely. He thinks pretty poorly of Sandal. But you don't need to think well of someone to use them as a pawn. That well, that could be like something we discuss. Good option too. If the grandpa doesn't lead us anywhere. It's, well, then. Uh, it's considered to be a wise decision to not share bed with people who make you puke. I'm going to uh, take a look at uh, our conscripted revolutionary crowd. Now then, you all have sworn yourselves to the continued cause of the revolution, yes? Uh, uh, Tess is like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't really have much of an option. Marlene just sort of like shakes her head slightly. I, I suppose I'm in the same boat. Oh, yes, revolution is great as long as I get to put my hammer to use, making and smithing and forging. Yeah, I just like reading books. Books are very cool. Very good. In which case, you will now have yourself a mission. We met an intriguing dwarf. I'm sorry, it wasn't a dwarf, it was a gnome. I'm having a stroke. What the <laughs> fuck is going on with me? One stroke technique. Speaker of the was man. great. Just like, we met an intriguing dwarf. End <laughs> conversation, <laughs> leave next week. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. And there's more. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> There's God. more. It was actually a gnome carrying on. Mm. A, a dwarf so intriguing that it was, in truth, a gnome. <laughs> um. Okay. Yes, this, speaker this, this gnome is currently at the whereabouts of Comrade Bills. I'd like him protected, for he is liable to be an asset to our cause. In addition, I want our revolutionary agents attempting to get anything that they can from the workman factories of the meat man. I want to know what's going on in his factories. I want to know what his weak points are, what his intentions are. Get them for me. Are you like directing this to a specific person? I'm directing this to the people who have been otherwise in charge of the Revolutionary Committee. <laughs> okay, but like you're you're just like you four figure it out. Yeah, more or less. I'm I'm asking them to because I'm not going to slow down the session by saying I'm going to walk up to every member of the revolution and do this. I assume these guys who are pro the revolution who have been in our absence helping us manage the members would be able to do that. Oh, yeah, no, no, I just wanted to make sure you weren't like, all right, Crunch, you're in charge of this. No, no, I, I'm I'm just asking them to do that and report to me as soon as they can if they have run into any problems or they need anything. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll I'll handle it. Marlene, like, looks around. Crunch is very busy and Tessin can't really leave here and to Hakka's out of books. Yes, you do. And those books are quite powerful. All right, I'll I'll go see what I can find out from the the people on the street. All right. I know that. While they get that information, I say we pay a visit to this old man's mansion. And I'm not going to wear that ridiculous get up again. Ah. We, sh- we should also probably talk to the 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 gold dude. It's also like midnight. You should probably get some fucking sleep too. I agree. That's the plan. Oh, so EP. 
Why would we talk to the gold man? We should wait until we have everything that we need. Uh, ah, also, did we have a method of getting in touch with the gold man, or is, is that just a... Uh, my, my understanding is, is that gold-plated skeletons have simply shown up on the door conveniently. That's what I think it just happens. happens. Yeah, we'll just kind of wait for it. If there's one in the morning, we'll, we'll, we'll write him a little notesy. All right, well, it's nappy time for me. Good night, everyone. Enjoy your nappy. Oh, I will. You need to sleep too, dumbass. Yep. And I guess it's bed that time <laughs> for the Rock Grind crew. Let's all go to bed. Like, like, Tanhauser drops. Tanhauser drops everything. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's That's me, right. Tanhauser. Orin. Hi, everyone. Orin goes so up is it Orin? Okay. okay, so, so Baldrick, you're going to your room to sleep. Um, Rahua, are you just standing in the foyer ominously? Rahua is looking over the fireplace. Okay, uh, Vina, where do you collapse? Um, oh man, I guess we don't really have rooms, do we? Oh, sure you do. Yeah, oh, I'll take, I'll, I'll take you to your room, Vina. Uh, what? What's my? Uh, what's? What's? <laughs> do I make it there? Oh, there we get little beds. <laughs> oh, Thurston, for some reason you have locked me out of my own room. Please let me in. That's correct. <laughs> it was to prevent other players from going into your room uninvited. Thank God. Thank oh you. Oh my God. There you the go. One I have relocked it for you. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Vina, does Vina that... make it to the bed? Because <laughs> otherwise, uh, I'm just going to sleep in the hall. Give me another fortitude save. We'll see how you do. Yeah. Uh, just just a in a two. Oh, I was a three. three. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Excuse me, GM. I would like to collapse in the hallway and choke on my own vomit. Yeah, me too, basically. Elf abuse yeah, is manifesting yeah. into Erndil yeah. and Speaker. I should give you the prone and unconscious conditions. <laughs> Very good. Me, 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 me. The branchination of Elf abuse has begun. Yeah. True. Um, Tannhauser. I'm. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Uh, you may pick a bed. Uh, Oren, are you staying out with your dragon? Yeah, as Oren, like, the dragon's all curled up. Oren's, like, sleeping on him, like, <laughs> like, drooling a bit on him. But it's all just, like, they're all just, just circled around this little couch foyer area near the fireplace. Cool. Uh, Tessin will, will join in the back room along with Duhakis. And like, oh, I, just, cozy. I just imagine too, like, like Tan has just like lying in this like bed and then Tessin's lying in his bed to the south. It's like, so do you really think the revolution's going to happen one day? <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> what will it be like, Mr. Tanhauser? It will be a great and glorious thing filled with righteous indignation and fury. Will there be colors there? Mostly red. It's better than all the gray here. Sounds lovely. Just stick with me. I assure you, you will see things you would not believe possible. <sighs> all right, and with that, I have one last request for my party, and that is, Rahua, give me a perception check. Okay, I'll give oh, you. No, that. we're about to get assassinated, <laughs> bro. Uh, thirty. Cool. Cool. Ma, just gonna do something here for no particular reason. One sec. You know, no particular reason. I don't think you should be allowed to do that. Yeah, Why? I agree. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Why you're would to you that. say that? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for drawing attention to Alpha Busa. Rahua, activate the black hole. <sighs> cool. I would love to, but I haven't unlocked that ability yet. I'm sorry. All right. Um. So Rahua. Yeah. As what you stare you into the fire and begin to to ponder cosmic the cosmic depths of the universe something catches your attention 
the sound of a squeaky floorboard in the front of the store front that's that crunch runs directly to your east and as you look over you can see that the door to the outside is open and that is where we will end today's session hey, uh, yeah, hey. hey. Oh, no, we wouldn't have this problem if you didn't blow a hole in my wall you're gonna get us blasinated but Baltric or by Arendelle, this is our house. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. We yeah. all hope you have yeah, a wonderful time. Guys, the allegiance so. flag. <laughs> 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 We were Help communist canceled. No. So with that, thank you all so very much for coming over to watch. Uh, when we reintroduce to everybody who helped us today, starting off with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello, it's me. I'm Odo. I've been playing Vina, the Sylph Swashbuckler. Uh, you can find me on the internet. I'm on what is formerly known as the Bird app. Uh, for now, um, you can catch me in some, uh, fun upcoming Ogre Popenang projects, uh, and that's kind of just where I'm at. Next up we yeah. have Hokey Crow. That is me! I am Hokey Crow! I have once again played the Kinrasu Cleric Rahua. Uh, you can catch me, much like Obobopi, over on... X slash Twitter, what it was once known as, on Discord by the same name, and now on Twitch, because now we're taking the foray into streaming. It's, it's exciting. Yeah, and of course, we have Arundel. Hi, my name is Arundel, and you can meet me at Twitter at Arundelio. And yes, I'm going to call it Twitter. I don't care. It's Twitter. And I will be there and basically nowhere else. You can meet me on Discord. Otherwise, I'll be working with Speaker to do stuff for Alpha, for Ogre Popenang. Alpha's in the chat. Say hello to him. Call him Call him funny names about Sweden. Give him I'm your sweet. best Swedish memes. Speaking of memes, we have Speaker D. Hello, I'm Speaker D. You can find me in the world that is alive forever for now um i am found on twitter at super snake you can also find me on alpha abuse's beautiful swedish channel where i write and do voice acting for under the parenting and other projects and i want you all to know i will never stop casting counterspell okay that's it because <laughs> we have our last year's game master thurston hillman Oh, hi, my name's Thurston. You can find me on all the things at On Call GM. Um, I am the managing creative director for Starfinder. We're going to actually be releasing more Starfinder stuff in the near future. Particularly, we got a, got a cool field test coming out in the next couple of weeks here. So stay tuned for that, where we preview the next thing for, for the Starfinder 2nd Edition game. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so good. I, my, my life is Starfinder 2nd Edition. It's so many guns. It's going to be it's going to be great. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, uh, uh, if you're in the Twin Cities, I'm going to be at SkullCon next weekend playing and running some games uh, there. And um, yeah, that's that's it for for measles. And with the people in the far future, you probably won't be there when you're listening to this in 2025. Well, you know what? I still, this just, just uh, look, look, look. I, I like it. You got to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined your eternal, eternal thing, but screw you, Zoran. I always have to call me up. <laughs> and the one who ruins everything. Hi, I'm Zoran. I am been the, I've been the host for this evening, and I hope you all have a wonderful time. Thank you for watching us here on Twitch Live. Thank you for watching our stuff on YouTube. Listen to us on podcasts where you're working, swimming, doing anything, acrobatics, whatever you're doing. We hope you had a wonderful time, and we hope you have a lovely day. We'll catch you all next time for the next episode of Rock Grind, and our Star Thunder things are coming soon. Love you all so for long. Farewell. Yay. See you Goodbye. next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.